Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from the Darth Empire coming at you here with another Black Ops sniping gameplay commentary. This is Six Man Domination on Stadium, the one of the new maps, or I guess it's just a map now, right? It's not new anymore. First Strike DLC came out, what, a month and a half ago? Two months? Anyway, Six Man Domination on Stadium. This is, I had the good fortune, I guess you could say, of running into a few relatively higher levels that had the bright idea that they were going to run around with Marathon, Lightweight, and Ballistic Knives. And for those of you that don't know, while Treyarch took out the overt Commando Lunge that was both in the title that launched and Modern Warfare 2, the one that we came to know and love, what they left in, and whether this was by design or just by accident, Lightweight, the perk Lightweight, increases the melee range for every player, obviously. So the lunge is still able to be had with lightweight. And if you use ballistic knives, if you have those the as your active weapon, your knife range increases as well. So when you combine the two, you get a de facto commando lunge. And of course, if you couple it, couple all that with marathon, you can run around the map ad nauseum trying to knife people. So when you when you see me watching kill cams in this game, just imagine me raging at the absurdity of it all, that this is still happening, that people are still being able to to lunge at other people from five feet or more away, and you know, I get I get it really the appealing to casual gamers I understand from a business standpoint but at some point you have to look at what you're doing to make that make your game appealing to casual gamers and say hmm you know what maybe this is kinda stupid but anyway that's just me I do have an actual point I want to get to today and that is the idea and I, I gotta say this before I get into it this is not a direct response to any type of criticism that I got on the first video I posted on the Darth Empire. I want to make that clear. This is not a direct response to any of that criticism. I did get a, some of it, and, and a lot of it was positive. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that I was getting crapped on by everybody and it was terrible and oh my god. There was, but there was some criticism. And this is not a direct response to that per se. What this is, and what I tell, what I say all the time is that I'm a very curious guy. I like to ponder things. Uh, that's just my nature. I don't know why. But what that did was force me to think about that criticism and what drives it. What is its nature? Where does it come from? And after viewing that criticism and thinking about that and seeing some of the other cri criticism heaped on other videos that I watch on YouTube, again, this is not responding to any specific criticism at all, but after viewing all of that, I was thinking for a while, I was thinking, about, you know, where does all this come from? Especially when we're talking about Black Ops and the, the sniping montages and gameplays and all this stuff, where does that come from? And it struck me after a while that this kind of criticism, this kind of dislike of some of the things that people are doing, I'm talking about in terms of gameplay, whether it be a gameplay in a montage, gameplay in a commentary, I'm not talking about YouTube tactics or anything like that. But I think what a lot of it comes from is the notion of generational lag. And for those of you that are that are unfamiliar with it, generational lag is a political concept in which leaders of nations or states are impervious, not necessarily impervious, but but not susceptible to changing with the times, to adapting. They they make decisions on policy and overt actions based on indicators, based on indicators and input and how things were in their own time. So a 50-year-old president would be making policy decisions based on the character of the political landscape when he was 35 or 25, whenever. When they're in their prime, that is the idea that there's, there's a concept of lag in which people are, are generating policy based on things that might not be true or available anymore. And in practice, just to give you a for instance, before the First World War, France decided to back up their front lines away from Germany about 10 miles in Lorraine, in the town of Lorraine. And what they were giving up, what they knew they were giving up at that time was the Lorraine oil, or not oil fields, iron fields. And that the the original idea behind moving back was to make it clear that Germany was the instigator of that war. They moved 10, 10 miles back, say, hey, you got, you got to come this far to get us. But when they gave up the Lorraine iron fields knowingly, what they f failed to realize was that iron ore 
was becoming the driving force of nation states and mechanized warfare at that time. So they made a decision based on, well, we, gotta, we have to make sure that everybody knows that Germany started this, but they didn't consider the fact that iron at that time was pretty big and going to be the driving force for some time in the political route. And that, of course, gave the German war machine more iron, and they were able to do all that bad stuff in the First World War and then part of the Second World War as well. But anyway, as that, how does that pertain to... You, the YouTube community and video makers and people that consume videos. I want to put it. I want to put it as simply as I can. The days of modern warfare two are no longer around. The days of rushing spawn with a sniper rifle, or with any kind of specialty weapon like that, those days are gone. They're not here anymore. At least in terms of you can do it with the consistency you need to either get a gameplay for a commentary or get clips for a montage. You are not rushing spawn with a sniper rifle in Black Ops. You're just not. You're going to be ho horribly inconsistent if you do, and you're probably not going to get that many clips because we're talking about a game in which the sniper rifles have the full 0 0.4 second ADS time, yet other weapons have a perk available to them that snipers do not that cuts their ADS time in half. People that remember COD 4 will remember that that didn't exist for any weapon. Every weapon had their base ADS time, so the snipers weren't at that much of a disadvantage, but now they're at a supreme disadvantage with Slide of Hand Pro. You're not going to be rushing spawn. It's, it's just not going to happen in this game. So when people start talking about it, it's like, oh, well... It, why aren't you quick scoping? Why aren't you? Why are you camping? That's what you have to do in Black Ops. This isn't Modern Warfare 2. I hate it too when people say it's like, well, Black Ops is a different game from Modern Warfare 2, or Black Ops is different from God 4. I hate that too, but there is an element of truth to that. Because the way you play, the style of play, and the mechanisms of play that worked in Modern Warfare 2 are either no longer in Black Ops. Or they just don't work. Rushing spawn with a sniper rifle does not work. Because a lot of the mechanisms that allowed for that to happen in Modern Warfare 2 are just gone. Or there are mechanisms in place in Black Ops that prevent that. So I think it's I think it's up to a lot of the and this goes for video makers too. I think video makers hold themselves to that to too high of a standard when it comes to Black Ops and sniping. They're trying to they're trying to get Modern Warfare 2 type gameplay or COD, even COD 4 type gameplay from Black Ops. And that's not going to happen. So I think it's up to I think it's up to people or it's up to the viewers and the video makers to kind of take a step back and collectively realize and say, you know what? This is a different game. This is a, this, the mechanisms in place, all this stuff is completely different. I would say it's more arbitrarily difficult, but we're gonna have to. We're going to have to change the way we view things, change what we like, change what we look for. At least a little bit, not completely, but a little bit. All right, guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for joining. I want to remind everybody to follow me on Twitter, Lefty six four three. That's where you will find out about all the open lobbies that we'll be doing with the the Darth Empire oh, live streams, all that kind of stuff. So follow me on Twitter, Lefty six four three. Also, be sure to check out my channel. The link is in the description. I got a whole bunch of stuff there for you to enjoy. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. Thank you for joining guys i hope you enjoyed i am out